people like super plush towels, one, because we're just humans and we like soft things, right? So what people don't know, this is something that's really, uh, one of the things that, that uh, funny enough, my wife brought up to me. So she said, when I first started working with microfiber towels and using them in my shop, I'd show her, when I, especially when I first got into the rag company stuff and started using it and buying it, using it in my business, I was like bringing her in and I'm like, check out these towels, you gotta feel these, you gotta see this. And she was like, yeah, I don't like those because they, they grab on my hand. I don't like that they grab back, so to yep. speak, that they feel like Velcro. And I was like, oh, that's weird. But then she grabbed this, she grabbed one of the eagles and she was like, I like this towel. This one I can, I can touch this one all day long. I have no problem. Uh, so how that comes about is the Terry weaves are all a closed loop. So there's still like the difference between like the Pearl, which is a much more closed loop, much tighter uh, compared to the open, more open style loop still that the uh, Terry is. Uh, what that happens is you've got rough parts of your skin because you use them all the time, just like Velcro or hook and loop. You've got hooks on your skin that are gonna, when ran down something with loops, are gonna catch. So these towels are gonna catch on those loops more. These, when you've got like your coral fleece, your circular knit weaves uh, and the hybrid, don't have that. The fibers are completely open. So it's no longer a loop, but just two fibers sticking straight up. So those hooks are just, they, they don't have anything to catch on. So this towel, and this towel chemically are equal. They're both 70-30 blends. They're both equally soft. The difference is just how your fingers perceive it because of the way your hand moves along the surface. That's all. But these towels, and if you put them into someone's hands, you go, which one's softer? They're both identical. But you're going to say but this. But the feel is no question. This is yeah. a much softer towel. Yeah, you're going to feel this and go, well, this is much softer. Well, it's because your hands aren't catching on it anymore. So that's one of the, one of the wildest things about going over into the plush series is, is your hands, you, it just, your brain goes, it doesn't register anymore. And it goes, wow, this is much softer. Oh my gosh, I just I sleep with this towel. I just want to cuddle up with it. Um, so this, and so the, the minx and the eagle, are very different weaves as well. So this being a coral fleece has um, a bit of a sponginess to it, as we like to say. Uh, so when it, it's got a little more give, it's got a little more bounce back based on the way that the fibers are laid. Um, where the Eagle doesn't have that. It's still got some, a lot of cushion, but it doesn't have the, it's got that spongy or bit of resistance that bounces back. It's got a uh, easy way to describe it. Um, and so we find that these towels, people love them, one, because they're very absorbent, they work great. A lot of people like them because they're so soft feeling that they feel like this is the great, a good final application towel. What it, I find that it's not good for uh, is that it doesn't have enough bite for like a, a compound or a polish. It might have enough bite for certain types of uh, paste waxes, but if you have too much bite, It'll cause the fibers to pull because the fibers will get stuck into whatever product you're putting, causing something to lint, which is something we don't want to have. So utilizing the right towel for the right job is the biggest thing. So this towel we found loves liquids and it absorbs liquids like crazy. So for rinseless washing, for waterless washing, this towel works really, really well because the number one thing that people complain about or need to know about with rinseless and, and waterless is the amount of pressure that you put on the surface of the vehicle. So if you're spraying a, a, a liquid on the surface and you are pressing extremely hard into the surface, it's going to scratch. doesn't matter which towel you have. If you're pressing really, really hard, you're going to scratch where you're causing those pressure points. So what I like to do is with this towel, because I have a bit of that resistance and a bit of that sponginess, this is perfect for that. Also, when it gets wet, it holds in a tremendous amount of liquid. So if you're dunking your towel and doing a rinseless wash with it, you have liquid still on the surface to act as a lubricant 
uh, for that surface, which is one of the reasons the minx has such a great reputation for that. Uh, our eagle and our circular knit weave is known the world over. It's how we got famous, so to speak. You know, it's, as Jeff says, it's what took us viral. Um, the eagle, we've been making this towel for a very long time. We're, uh, and it's one of those things that now people know us, uh, known about us. It's one of our most copied towels, I'd say, but there's nothing like the eagle. There's, you won't find a Korean made 500 GSM 70-30 blended towel anywhere in the world but from the rag company. You'll find copies all over the world, but they might be Chinese, they might be 80-20 blend, they might be 75-25. Yep. You're never gonna find a true 500, or they may be 480 GSM, 490, but you'll never find a 500 GSM Korean 70-30-16-16 towel, but from us. And that's why the Eagle makes it so special because it's, this has been years and years of technology of us using and changing and trying to update. And when we brought out this new version of the Eagle 500, because we originally were an Eagle 480, uh, this 500 was a big undertaking because we were changing something that everybody loved. This towel does everything really well. You know, the only thing I say it doesn't do good on is Alcantara <laughs> because you've got a tight knit suede. It's Alcantara is microfiber, but it's a much tighter weave and it does what microfiber does they grab, they pull. So I don't ever recommend wiping anything with Alcantara with this towel, but you can do your interiors, plastics, you can clean your windows with it, you can wipe the car down. But whether this towel shines, as I've always said, it's a, your last touch towel. It's the last towel you wanna put on the car when it's finished, when you're done cleaning. This is perfect for quick detail sprays, spray waxes, spray sealants, and as we know, it's amazing with bead maker, which is why it's orange. Which is why this one's orange, correct. Yeah. Uh, so it's perfect for that because it's highly absorbent, super soft, super safe. But really, this is the best one for folks when maybe they're going to a car show and they're, they want to put a little, uh, you know, bead maker or a uh, quick detailer or something on the surface at the car show. This is great because of the long naps. All that light surface dust and particulates have somewhere to go. The microfiber draws it up into itself. The back of our logo is literally the cross section of a microfiber uh, strand. And each one of those little junctions inside is what collects the dirt and grime, pulls it up into the surface. So that's one of the reasons that we have that. And that's one of the unique features of the Eagle is that it does that. It pulls and lifts just like all the microfiber, but on a much bigger scale, so to speak. So um, our pluffle, Another one of these. Have you been selling a lot of these? Do you like selling these ones? Put you on the spot. Well, we're now getting into the drying towels. Right. Um, and I find probably our biggest selling drying towel is the double twist wrist, which right. is the towel on the end. Yep. Um, and we do sell quite a lot of pluffles. Yeah. Um, for the reason being that it's, it's soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got, got a nice feel to it. Right. And it's that exact same feeling people have between the, twi the, the terry and the circular knit weave is exactly the same as they have between a twist loop and the pluffle. The twist loop is just much bigger, more exaggerated loops like the terry weave. So there is something for the hand to go, oh, it feels kind of rough because it's grabbing back on me. This has the circular knit of the uh, eagle, so it's still very soft, they feel the softness. The thing is, they're identical. Again, both 70-30, both Korean made, both uh, the same micro microfiber. So it's just the way your fingers perceive the surface, the way it's grabbing. But this towel is equally as soft on paintwork as this towel. The differences change though, because in, when we're talking drying towels, and we've got a smaller twist loop here that we usually use for glass. This is one of the reasons we created the FTW was for glass, because again, application, we wanted to try and create one towel. Instead of using two towels for glass, like some people do, there are people that go, hey man, I only want one towel. How do we make a glass towel the most efficient way possible? Let's say you've got a minivan or a Suburban or something with a lot of glass and a lot of windows that you need to clean. There's a lot of times, myself as a detailer, I'd go through two or three sets of glass towels to get all the way around a car because the towel would get too saturated. So how do I reduce the saturation, 
and increase the ability to still have a bit of a dry side to do a final buff. So that's when the twist loop brought that out and allowed us to create a glass towel that you only needed to use the one to wipe everything down. And a lot of it was in just the construction of that. And that's, so that's what the FTW is. It works great though also as a small drying towel because it's just as absorbent because it's the twist loop material, um, but it's in a smaller size. So you're able to, to kind of dry the surface. Uh, so after you've gone over maybe with your big one, uh, your bigger double twistress and you dried the surface, maybe you got a little bit of runs or any extra little drips, you can go over it with one of these two or any of these other towels if you're going to apply bead maker or something. Yeah, and the beauty of the FTW too is it's a slightly lighter weight, so it's yeah. easier to handle on the windows. Much easier, yeah. Um, which is why, again, personally, it's only personal, I like using the FTW on my, on my, on my windows. Same and, here. And I don't think there's any other twist loop. I could be wrong. There wouldn't be many twist loop window or glass cleaning towels on the market. There are a few, yeah. But, but it is still fairly unique. But nothing, nothing like this where it's a, a dual-sided in the sense yeah. that some of them are only a, a one-sided twist. And then the other side is like a smoother side. Um, this is a dual-sided. The other thing this sets this, sets this one apart is it's got 70-30 micro suede or, or butter soft suede on it, which is also absorbent and also a workable surface. So the suede can actually also do a job for you, which is one of the reasons we add that. So again, trying to make the towel as efficient as possible because other companies use a satin banded edge. Yep. Satin's fine, doesn't scratch, doesn't harm, but it's not absorbent and uh, it doesn't scrub, has no scrubbing ability, so to speak, on that surface. So we're able to make that towel much more efficient in its operation because of that. Um, so. Going to the uh, drying towels, we'll just make a note here. So in case you're wondering what makes up a pluffle is the traditional waffle weave, which like we have here with the waffle pattern, uh, basically we married these two together. So these two got together and had a baby and that's what the pluffle is. So you take the ultra plush fibers of the circular knit weave of the eagle and you've increased it with the absorbency characteristics of a waffle weave. And what people need to understand, the reason the waffle weave, this is one of the most, this was probably the first drying towel designed after a terry weave. Um, so the waffle weave has been out for a number of years and a lot of people love it, use it. There are a lot of uh, older detailers that only like using waffle weaves for drying. Um, it's a great towel, it's a thirsty towel, it's an absorbent towel. But one of the things that sets it apart is there are always people and as the market gets more educated. We start seeing different processes. We start learning different things about what we want as detailers, what kind of services we want to provide to customers. Um, and as the more work we do, we want to protect that work that we just put into those cars. So a waffle weave, even though it doesn't scratch, even though it doesn't uh, harm the finish, you want to take a precaution, a secondar secondary layer of precaution. This is great at drying. How do we make this even safer at drying? Well, we combine the taller nap and higher, softer feel of the eagle. So that's where the pluffle came into. So pluffle takes this, these two and kind of takes that next step further. So now you've got a very absorbent drying towel. And what I always tell people is for maintenance washing, detailing, detailers that have detailed a car, maybe they've coated it uh, and they want to maintenance wash it but they want to make sure that they're the ones maintenance washing or their customers are doing the maintenance wash. And they want to make it as safe as possible for the customer to not cause any scratching or damaging because most of your scratches come from drying, not from washing. A lot of people do a lot of great things to wash. It's when they dry the surface of the vehicle that they come into, come into problems. And so that's why we always recommend a drying aid like bead maker or uh, a quick detail spray um, as a drying aid. Well, how do we do it without a drying aid? How do we make that even better. Well, that's what the pluffle comes into, is able to give that sense of insurance and that sense of safety to the customer so that they feel safe. Now, again, this is exactly as soft as this, but to the customer who's just spent a bunch of money on their car to get it corrected and coated, you still have to deal with personal touch and they have to feel the towel and you have to give them an option. You have to give them that sense that they're cared for, that they're 
that what that you're answering the needs that they have. And that's why we have the Pluffle. And that's why the Pluffle does so well um, everywhere because it's a great towel and it's a nice towel. People love it. And it's good for all the same jobs the Eagle is, great for all the same jobs that, that a Waffle Weave could do. Um, probably not so great at glass, but it still works. It's still a good towel. Um, but this double twistress and the twist loop material is quickly becoming the go-to for a lot of different jobs. People are finding the uses of this towel I mean, everywhere, and you've seen that. As I said, it's, it's, it's the most popular drying towel. We probably don't use it for a lot more applications. Yeah. Um, or that I know of, uh, down back in Australia. Yeah. Um, but please, just, just tell us. You said it can be used for a lot, so, lot of different applications. So or what are they? There's a couple of things. So people, one, we found glass. It's great, great for a glass towel. Uh, the other thing that makes twist loops awesome is uh, um, prep wipes. So you're gonna be using an alcohol wipe down or a, a paint prep or surface coating prep uh, wipe down on the surface before you're going to uh, add protection to the surface, whether it be wax, sealants, or coatings, uh, clarifying that surface and wiping it down. In the past, you had to use a lot of towels. They fill up very quickly or you're wiping a lot of dust and debris and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of guys were going, if I could get through this whole car with two wipes, low lint was the other thing. Well, again, the twist loops provide a lot. They are very low lint, no lint towels. So, and they're highly absorbent. And in comparison to a Terry weave, they are double. You know, we're talking seven times its weight in water to 14 times its weight in water. So this is able to hold much more fluid. So guys are able to do a much more thorough prep wash or wipe to the surface with these towels. So that's another good reason. Uh, other uses are, uh, we found some use in PPF. Uh, a lot of folks do like them. Same way they like using the uh, premium glass for PPF, great towel, both because they're 70, 30 and a low or no lint uh, surface. Cause you've got, you're dealing with a stickier adhesion. And so grabbing of lint and things like that is, is not what you need but also you need the absorbency to pick up that slip solution that they use. So that's one of the great things. There are companies that do love using these as wax and polish and removal towels. That's totally fine. These towels are safe to use that with. And quick detail sprays. One of the things, the reason we also make an orange version is because it's great for bead maker, great in application uh, bead maker and uh, spray sealants. So those are some of the reasons we like it, but the number one shining reason and the reason the double twistress is so awesome is you can dry a whole vehicle with it and it's still light enough that you can carry it around and use it where maybe our twist and shout, which is good for two cars, gets a little heavy when it's, and it's big. And we all know when you're drying the bottom of that car, the last thing you want is to drop the towel and have it hit the ground. So this becomes a much more manageable size uh, for people to utilize uh, when they're drying. And it's just, it's, hits that sweet spot. Like we said, it's the right weight, the right density, um, for the towel fibers. Uh, it absorbs a ton again, 70, 30 suede edge so that it can absorb liquid as well. So now you have on your leading and trailing edge, you have absorption all the way across, which makes that towel much better and much more efficient at drying. Yes, we do have like our car wash towel, which is a 16 by 24, uh, Terry weave 320 GSM. It's a great drying towel. It's it, it'll dry a car. No problem. And in the car wash industry, it's perfect for that because many of them have blowers and it, they blow off a lot of the water. They're great. And we sell a ton of them. They come in a ton of different colors for the car wash industry. It's awesome. But for the detail market, when they're working on maybe one, two, three cars a day, these towels are great because one other inherent benefit of microfibers, it dries very fast. So, you can dry an entire car with this, hang it on the clothesline, start working on that car. And when you go to wash the next one, your towel's fairly dry and ready to go again, which makes it really nice. Um, also again, because you've got, uh, you've got safe fibers, like we said, 70, 30. So it's not going to scratch the surface. Um, you've got that twist loop, which is much larger and then twisted like a corkscrew to bring that surface area down. So it becomes 
much denser, able to absorb much more water. Yeah. So, well, what I also like about it too is the way it actually holds the water in. Yeah. So we were discussing this earlier that I find with the twist loop towels, it's like the fibers were designed to actually encapsulate the water yeah. and hold it in. So you can have a towel that feels wet. Yep. And you think to yourself, well, oh, that thing's soaked. Soaked. I can't drive the car anymore. You try and wring it out and it doesn't release any water. Yeah. And you put it back on the car and you keep drying and it still dries the car. Yeah. Um, and that's very different to most other types of weaves. That, exactly. That don't actually hold the water in as well. And if you're using the wrong type of weave on the wrong type of, so to dry a car, what you'll find is it gets to a stage where it gets saturated and then it just puts the water back on the car, redeploys Yeah, it doesn't it. have a spot to put it anymore. Correct, so it doesn't dry as well. But what I like about the Swiss loops is it actually is designed to hold the water in place. Yeah. So a wet towel can still give you a very good drying result on a car. Yeah, and that's that. That, in a nutshell, is the whole reason we make so many different towels and so many detailers, when they first start figuring out about microfiber, that's their number one question: is Well, why do I need so many towels? Well, it's it's each step of the way. It's the same thing as why do you need so many polishers? Well, I have sections of the car that I really need to get into those areas. I have detailed areas that I have to work in, and one big machine won't do the whole thing. Right. It, if you had something a little more precise or something that could get in and just get that job done much more effectively. Same goes for these towels. One will do all of it. It won't do it really well. And we're not talking you need to buy one of every 10 of these. You know, you need to buy maybe three, maybe five, maybe six to outfit your shop and be effective. However, the farther you go down and you learn about microfiber, and you figure out what the use is and why it benefits your shop, you find that, hmm, you know, if I'm walking around, maybe I'm finishing my car and I'm using this to do my last step and I'm, a customer's coming to pick it up and I'm using this towel, the Eagle, a bright orange Eagle, to wipe down the surface and then I go out and I present the car to the customer and I have this in my hand. The customer's gonna look at this towel, something they've probably never seen before, and they're gonna look at you, the detailer, and go, wow, that's a, that's a really nice towel. Man, look how good my car looks. Well, you didn't detail the whole car with this towel, but the perceived notion that the customer has is, man, they actually took, that's, wow. I don't, I don't even clean my body with a towel that nice, but look what they did to my car. Can I get some of these from you? Or where do I get them? You know, it instantly gives them, they may never use it, but they feel like they need to. And, it gives that perception of, oh wow, that's amazing. Or uh, maybe your guy missed a spot on the glass. You go grab a glass towel, you go clean that. Wow, that's a really neat looking glass towel. What'd you, instantly they look at your position, your job as someone who is very educated in the system. Just like when you pull out a different polisher and guys are out there with a different polisher or you're using, you're not using a tire dressing the same way you know, you're using interior dressing or an engine dressing. You're, you're, there's a differentiation between them. It's the same thing for that customer. They need to learn, oh, that's, wow, oh, okay. And you start seeing, man, there's a reason there's different tools. And there's, and I'm that guy. I was that guy that used one polisher, one giant rotary for a number of years to do everything. And there were many times in my head, we'd go, man, if you only had an extension rod and a much smaller pad and backing plate, this would go much better. I don't have that, oh well. And I didn't change. But once I started my own business and saw a need to where, same reason I came into to towels was I was having, I was frustrated. On very soft clear, I would scratch cars just by wiping them with a towel. And I wanted to figure out a solution for that because it was extremely frustrating to finish polishing a, car, polishing a car and getting it looking just perfect. And then you wipe it with a towel and you just marred the ever living snot out of it. And you're like, and it's frustrating. You start losing money because you keep wasting more and more time trying to fix this issue. So finally it was like, how do I figure that out? And that's when I started to learn about microfiber. And thankfully the rag company was here and that's how it helped me. But I came in because I had a problem and it didn't matter if it came from the rag company. I needed to figure out microfiber and I didn't know about microfiber. I didn't know the differences between it. So having that and having that education started to allow me to learn. And then I was able to take the different towels, you know, I'd buy one or two of each, and I would test it. And I would test it against the products I was using and go, oh, 
man, that towel works really good. Or one of my guys would go, man, I really like using this towel with this. Well, I didn't try that yet. Let me try. Oh man, you were right. This is great. Okay. Now we start creating a plan. What do we need? How are we getting it done faster? And how are we able to save money on it? And then that made it made the whole difference, you know, and, then, and that's basically how we get into microfiber and how they, they get going on it. So I'm excited because for you, this is a full market that you get to uh, I explain the benefits. Well, it is. Look, I've, I've been doing well, I've been doing this now for 12 months. We've had the yeah. distributorship for a little bit longer. And one of the things I enjoy most is when I'm actually in our, in our showroom. Yeah. And someone will come in through the door and they'll come in and they'll say, I want to buy a microfiber towel. Yeah. So I'll say, well, hold on a second. Right? What do you want to use a microfiber towel for? Right. And we start talking about the different types of weaves. I actually have to, I have to ask them first, do you have the time? Yeah. And most of, them, <laughs> most of them say, not a problem. Yeah. And what they think is going to be a five minute conversation. dropping conversation call, I'm going to walk out with the microfiber towel, often becomes a 30 minute, 45 oh, minute first, visit. First day I walked into the rag company, I was here for three hours. So you understand. Learning about microfiber. Yeah. And, and the people who come in are genuinely interested because yeah. if you can find a way to help them to make their job more efficient, easier, ultimately cost effective, because even if they're buying a cheaper towel, you can show them how using the right type of towel for the right job is going to be more cost effective. People want to listen. They want to learn. Yeah. Um, and so they find these five minute visits become 45 minute visits, but they'll walk out with the right towels and an the education. right application and a bit of an education. So next time if they come back and they buy off us, or they buy off one of our dealers, or, but they buy off the opposition. Yeah. They will hopefully buy the right products for the right application. Yep. Exactly. Um, and that's so, what it, and I enjoy doing that. Yeah. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, because it's, it's selling the customer the right education on and making the right choice. And that's what's at, you know, what we want to be doing always is helping the customer, regardless of whether we're making a sale or not, it's helping the customer and providing that level of service. And that's one of the core tenants of the rag company. That's why I'm so thankful to have you here and make you come all this way to come hang out with us. So it's been awesome, Mark. And uh, so where can everybody find you? They can find us um, on the web at carcareco.com.au. Yep. Um, if you live in Melbourne, you can drop down to our showroom. Take 45 in, minutes in and hang Downs. Out. The address is on, on, on the website. Awesome. Um, we post when we can on Instagram at, at AU Carcareco. Um, we post on Facebook um, at Carcareco. Yep. Um, or you can visit one of our dealers um, or go to our dealers' websites and they're all listed on our website. We've got Perfect. Um, 10, 10 or 11 in, in Australia. We've got one in New Zealand. Nice. Um, that's been, uh, they've been going now for probably the last three or four months, which we're really excited about having a, yeah. a dealer in New Zealand. That's awesome. Um, so you've got lot, lots of options to pick up the rare company products in cool. Australia. Well, awesome, man. As always, guys, you can like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Mark, for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Of course, Great brother. being here. Yeah. And as always, stay tuned for more videos right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.